Got a question for you now. Are you interested in the medical field? We have a partnership with Infirmary Health, and so Dr. Lauren Hopkins is here to talk more about the residency programs that are going on there, and also more about what you can learn. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you so much for having me. So we were just chatting about, you know, the need for people to go into the medical right. field. Can you walk us through, though, the difference between being a resident and a medical student? Sure, so a resident is somebody who's completed medical school and received their degree, and they are paid doctors at this point. Um, they, they have the title and, yeah. and they have the actual function as working as a physician. They do work under attending physicians, which are experts in their field that do supervise their plans and make sure the patient's receiving the best care, but mm -hmm. ultimately, same as any other doctor, mm -hmm. just, you know, it, it, in process. Talk about the uniqueness of the internal medicine residency program at Thomas. So it's unique because I feel like as a, as a newer program, we're really making a lot of, a lot, we're gaining a lot of ground quickly here. I think that we've really reached a lot of people within the community and mm -hmm. just seeing in Baldwin County how, much, how there is such a physician shortage and how people really struggle to find a primary mm -hmm. care. It's been really nice to be able to fill that gap. And I know that that was Thomas and Infirmary Health Mm -hmm. goal is to really fill that void and it feels good to know that we're actually accomplishing that and I look forward to seeing what we can do. So you, you said we, who are the physicians in the program? So we, so we're actually from all over the nation and all over the globe. I mm -hmm. mean to pinpoint where everybody would be from would be literally across the entire globe. So uh, <laughs> it's, it's really neat though because everybody kind of came from different backgrounds and had different interests coming in but we all share that now and I think as a program, we really hope to, to really train physicians here, but also to keep them within Baldwin County, and hopefully we can continue this care. Mm -hmm. How long is the program? So it's three years, okay. um, three years, and I'm in my second year currently. Okay, and everything's going well? It's going well, Good. yeah. I love Baldwin County. Mm -hmm. So you were talking about just the need for internal medicine doctors, and people probably get that when they're calling, trying to make an appointment right now. Sure, sure, yeah. It, people. The people that I see, you know, were on wait lists that were months, months long. So being yeah. able to get in and see somebody, especially when they need the care, has mm -hmm. been really a special place for us to fill. Mm -hmm. And these patients are, are typically pretty sick and really, really do need this care. So we're really happy to step in and get that experience as well. So on that note, how do you become a patient? So to become a patient, you can go to infirmaryhealth.org. Uh, we are accepting patients and we accept most insurances in addition to Medicare and Medicaid. Um, there is an $150 copay for your first visit if you are not insured, but we're hoping to kind of work with people to make that work in the future as well. Okay, sounds good. A lot of good information there. Thank you for telling this Thank to us. Thank you.